right now I'm going to the shop I'm gonna try to fix the the brakes that uh, shit the bed yesterday and uh, we'll see what's good then I hope we can fix it uh, so we can drift a little more today uh, we'll see what happens So I just got to the shop with my bike and uh, this took me a solid 30 minutes to get here and it's super hot out now so I'm literally fucking dying out here and uh, my car is looking all fucking dirty. Went drifting yesterday, the brake shit the bed and now we gotta jack it up again to see what's good under there. Um, you know I, I put a new pump in there, it's still not fixed, um, it's really weird because the pump is leaking. Um, it's probably because some other brake systems are not right and then the pump acts up on that or something. I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna take a look in a minute. I'm gonna try to jack this bitch up, take the wheel off and all that shit. So, uh, be back in a minute. So, I'm looking at this a little bit, you know, and, um, for some reason, this side is not pushing out and only this side and that's why it's leaking out here. This is with the new cylinder that I put in yesterday, but... I took yesterday's cylinder and like, you know, let's take a look what's what's good on here. And uh, I cleaned this one up, it looks all good, you know, nothing wrong out here. But then I go to the other one, and uh, I see this thing out here, and I see there is a piece missing. Let's get a focus on there, um, if it wants to focus on me. God damn it, stupid sh Look at it, there is a piece missing, so um... I'm gonna take a look at this one now, I'm just gonna take that one out, maybe it got the same problem, um, which I highly doubt, because that would be really, really weird, um, I don't know how to work on any of this shit, um, I barely do this, I have done this a couple times before, working on drum brakes, but, you know, it's a, it's a piece of shit, dude, piece of shit, so I'm looking at this, and, um, you know, I'm trying to take this apart, and uh, it's, it's not going that easy, but, you know, I found this thing out here. It's f***ing bent for some f***ing reason, Pro probably because I've put uh, too much pressure on the brake or something, trying to brake too hard or something, and this drum brake can't handle it. So it pushes out, and this is where a lot of pressure comes on, and then it just bended it, and when it bent, um, this one can, the, the cylinder on the top, can push it out even more and then brake fluid starts coming out. That, that's what I think and when the, the brake fluid started coming out, um, this rubber thing, this uh, for not leaking, got behind the corner of this so it kind of went out completely and tried to go back in and that's when I got the, the broken one. So um, that's my theory right now on the moment, that's how I think it went. Um, the other one is still straight. I looked at it. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna grab the jack. I'm gonna jack that bitch up out there. And um, it kind of sucks because I have to jack up the other side um, from the car. Because I jacked up this side. But, you know, I gotta grab parts from the other side now. Anyway. I could also just bend this back straight. But, you know, since I'm gonna be throwing in um, this rear end. After I get an AE86 rear end or an S13 rear end, whatever the fuck I'm getting for this rear end, I'm gonna be throwing exactly this complete rear end into that car, so that car runs again. So I'm just gonna grab parts from that rear end and just throw it in here, so this one is like all nice again. But, you know, it's what I'm gonna do now. So, um, you know, I took the one out from, from that car, I got the other side jacked up, I took it out, and uh, this is the one that I got out there, it's uh, a little bit crunchy and rusty and whatnot but look at this tail piece this is like nice and straight kind of nice and straight it's got a tiny little bent in it but it, it's not even noticeable and this one is like all fucking bent up and uh, that's why I had to piss brake fluid everywhere and could not drive my car and uh, it's pretty annoying just this bend out here but basically what this does is it kind of makes the the thing shorter so it has to push the thing out even more and you know you can't keep pushing it when it pushes out until this black little cock ring out here you know you're you're done for it so I'm gonna put this one in uh, in a minute and uh, you know put everything back together 
and uh, bleed the system. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like do a complete bleed um, flush on the brake system because, you know, I'm fucking around with these with these fucking jacks out here and it's so annoying. Uh, it takes so long before you can get the jack up. Then you have to get one of these triangles under there and all that stuff. Take the wheel off and whatnot. And it just, you know, not not nice to be working on on it with that. So um, I think I'm just gonna drive without a bled system for a couple days until I go to work again. Um, you know, go to a shop, get it on the lift, get all my four wheels off, and you know, bleed it properly. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just gonna enjoy a little drink and a snack before I'm gonna continue on this because it's so damn hot and this is like. The reason why I hate these jacks because it's so damn hot out and this is just a workout thing. This, if you jack up your car on one side with one of these, you've done like a complete fitness workout thing. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So I just got everything back together. I hope it is going to work just fine right now. I'm just going to uh, bleed the system and then we can try to drive it. Hope everything goes alright. I got that Arizona boy. There we gotta stop out there. Look at that car coming from right. Oh, I press him on my brake. I'm stopping. Oh, oh, this is fucking lit, dude. This is fucking lit. We can stop now. 